So I have been becoming more aware of cognitive distortions of mine more uh, more recently, and it's very just kind of like fascinating to look at it. You know, the the mind is a very interesting place. I've heard that we think thousands of thoughts a day. I heard, I mean, in my own experience, not only do I think thousands of thoughts a day, the amount of thoughts that I think that are just like uh, like unconscious, like automatic, like it's like, whoa, you know, <laughs> it's it's crazy to just kind of like look at it from afar. Um, but uh, yeah, I've just like, I'm realizing now that one of the most important aspects of self-awareness is um, being aware of your mind, right? And awareness of the mind also entails seeing cognitive distortions, the way that we approach reality, right? The, re the way that we approach what's happening in life. Um, catastrophizing, making things far worse than they actually are. Um, filtering, right? Looking at only the bad. It's very interesting. I grew up with... Um, trying to set up there we go perfect I was trying to set up my mic there for a second I grew up with a lot of drama I got I got very used to drama like getting myself involved in drama I did I got very used to that and um actually getting myself away from that is challenging and I see that it's challenging because dealing with my own personal shit and just sitting with my own pain is very challenging, and I think that that's why it's so challenging to get away from the drama. You know, you, you, you want to distract yourself from the pain of life, right? And so you get involved in drama. You, you focus on other people's shit. And the more self-aware I get as I heal, the more I see how much I have done that. And as I see it, it's like... Ugh. Kind of, it's kind of strange, you know? Because it's like I'm being used by what it is that I'm used to, right? Because I've said before, what you're used to will use you, right? If you, if you don't change it, it's just going to continue doing the same thing. So I'm really... Grab my mic. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm really doing the best that I can to just become more aware of myself. Actually, over the past, like, I'd say 24 hours by now, maybe even more, maybe closer to like 36 hours, I've been seeing that I've been doing something that is not, I'll, I'll say two words here, it's not healthy and it's not accurate. Um, these are two things that I look for in terms of how I conduct myself. I want to be healthy and I want to be accurate, right? Um, and I've been going through something as I've been seeing this, and I'm like, it hasn't been accurate. It hasn't. At all. It's not in the, in the slightest been accurate. And... You know, I, I look at myself, I'm not going to say what it is because it's, it's personal, but um, I look at myself and I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? What, what's, what's really going on here, right? Just getting a better understanding of everything. And I just see the cognitive distortions. I see the filtering. You know, when I, when I, um, when I communicate something to somebody when I'm frustrated, I actually, I filter. I, I expose the negative. And... I give very much of like a like one-sided story, right? And it doesn't make me look like I did anything that should be considered questionable or that would have brought the situation to a fault, right? Um, and catastrophizing too, like life is not that crazy, but we catastrophize and we just like blow things out of proportion. It's wild. See, so yeah, I just wanted to document that because I think it's a very, very cool space of awareness to be in. And I'm very excited to continue to grow with that and learn more about myself through that.